Welcome to this Sage Business Cloud Accounting demo. In this video, you will learn how to reconcile bank accounts in Sage Accounting. Reconciling bank accounts is a process of comparing bank statements with the transactions recorded in Sage Accounting. It allows you to verify that all the transactions have been recorded in Sage Accounting and that there are no bank errors in the statement. It is generally considered a best practice to reconcile your bank account each time you receive a statement from your bank. Let's begin by going to the banking module to reconcile a bank account. We select the bank account we want to reconcile. In the drop down menu, select Reconcile. Start by entering the statement date and end balance as they appear on your bank statement. You may also want to enter a reference, such as the statement date. Then click Apply. A list of bank transactions recorded in Sage Accounting that have not been previously reconciled and that have a date up to the statement date appear in the list. If a transaction was added from a bank feed, it automatically appears as reconciled. For each transaction in the list, insert a check mark if it appears on the bank statement. In our case, we add a check mark for every transaction that appears on our bank statement. If you would like to quickly reconcile or unreconcile all entries, click the drop down menu in the top right corner and select the appropriate option. Below the table, you will find information about the starting balance, which was the end balance on the previous statement, and the target balance, which is the end balance on this statement. The reconciled balance represents the balance as it should be based on the reconciled transactions. If there is a difference between the target balance and the reconciled balance, it is displayed in the difference field. If the difference is not zero, we recommend that you check that the statement end balance is correct, ensure the correct transactions have been reconciled and none have been missed, check the value of your reconciled transactions, and ensure that you've entered all of your transactions up to the end of your bank statement. If interest or bank charges are missing in Sage Accounting, they can be conveniently recorded directly from this screen by clicking the Interest and Charges button. Here, you may enter an amount and a date for bank charges, interest charges, or interest earned as they appear on the bank statement. In our case, we notice a bank charge on our bank statement that hasn't been entered in Sage Accounting. We confirm the amount, the date, and we click Save. Note that you may have recorded transactions in Sage Accounting that don't yet appear in your bank statement and that you're expecting the bank to process on future statements. This is very common for checks sent to vendors towards the end of the month that the vendor hasn't deposited as of the statement date. Leave these transactions unreconciled. They will be available to be reconciled on the next bank reconciliation. In our case, the difference at the bottom is now zero, and the bank is reconciled. Using the drop-down menu, we could save our work to finish the reconciliation later. This is convenient if you start reconciling an account and realize that adjustments or new transactions need to be processed. When you're done, click Finish. Click Print to generate a PDF document that can be saved or printed for your archives. If we return to banking and select our checking account again, a Reconciliation tab now displays all reconciliations that have been recorded for this account. Please note that if a transaction has been reconciled, it cannot be deleted. Some changes can still be made to it, for example if a ledger account needs to be adjusted, but it cannot be deleted. Congratulations! You now know how to reconcile bank accounts in Sage Business Cloud Accounting.